Well, the United States is reeling once again after a devastating tornado ravaged parts of its heartland. More than 90 people are dead, at least 20 of them children. And that toll is expected to rise. The twister touched down just south of Oklahoma's state capital, Oklahoma City in America's Midwest. Packing winds topping 300 kilometres an hour, it left a trail of destruction more than 16 kilometres long. In the storm's path, homes, businesses and two primary schools, where rescuers have frantically searched the rubble for survivors. ABC North America correspondent Lisa Miller reports. The threatening funnel of wind stretched across more than two kilometres, moving so quickly it left little time for people to take cover. Oh my God! The storm bears down on the city of Wichita. 20 years I've never no, said that. I think it's our time uh, to go. Get to shelter right now, Ryan Newton. I'm breaking away from it as fast as I can because it's getting a little closer for my comfort. But, uh, as it passed through, it destroyed everything in its path. Flattening homes and trees, picking up cars and sparking fires. It, it just glass and debris started slamming on us. We thought something, we thought we were dead, to be honest. I got covered up with some debris and then pushed, pushed me down the shed road. I was, I was pretty lucky, I suppose. I couldn't just, just hit my house and make this place alone. Dazed residents couldn't believe what they saw. This school took the brunt of the storm. Some of the children had hugged the walls. Well, it just, it was just dumped out and the roof came off and then I felt something and it was just raining, play on me and all that. Just into the office, they were in the hallways, heads down, I mean, doing everything that they knew to do. But, um, yeah, her, her best friend's still there. Dozens were left trapped, and as light began to fade, the search through the rubble became more frantic. Parked my truck here at the 7-Eleven parking lot. Just started heading in. We were pulling house uh, walls off of people. Uh, there were people crawling out from everywhere and anywhere. The tornado eerily tracked the path of the record-breaking storm of 1999, which destroyed a 1,000 homes. With winds of more than 300 kilometres per hour, the National Weather Service says this one was bigger. An EF4 tornado, the second highest level. And for 45 long minutes, its devastating funnel ravaged these neighbourhoods again. The state's governor called in the National Guard and the White House offered whatever help it could. Our hearts are, are just broken for the parents that are wondering uh, the, the state of their children that have been in the schools that have been hit today. This tornado was one of two dozen spotted across several states, some dumping hailstones as big as baseballs. Lisa Miller, ABC News.